Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get some important love messages for you. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and may not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me important love messages for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn today. Ooh. Okay. Four pentacles at the bottom of the deck. When I say someone, that means it could be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. We've got the Hierophant here. So somebody is learning from this connection, learning from this mistake, perhaps because of a separation. Ten of Pentacles here in reverse, or maybe currently you and your person are going through some issues or on a break. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Knight of Wands here, fire, um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I sense this person is thinking about working on this connection with Eight of Pentacles. They've been reflecting. Hmm. Also wondering, there's someone here who is wondering whether there could be a future for the both of you. Because Ten of Pentacles is in love first. That means it hasn't materialized yet. Could either indicate kindly both of you separated or that this hasn't materialized yet. Um, This... I would say this promise, this commitment, it feels like it's on its way there or that somebody's thinking about it because we've got the higher font here. So someone is thinking about taking a relationship to the next level, making it official, depending where you're at right now with your person, you could be dating, they could be thinking maybe you could get into a relationship or if you are in a relationship, they could be thinking about wanting to take the relationship to the next level, getting married. But um, the hermit here, right, it feels like somebody is definitely thinking long and hard, making sure that they didn't miss anything, right? Because the hermit is a Virgo energy. Virgos are very analytical. So it could be you or your person. Somebody here is definitely looking into the possibilities of this connection. However, for some of you, if you're single, because hermit sometimes can indicate somebody being single or feeling really lonely. Um, if you're single, if you're wondering when am I going to meet somebody with the Ten of Pentacles here, because it's still in row first, that means it hasn't happened yet. And um, some of you could be wondering when am I going to meet that person whom I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And we've got Ace of Pentacles here. Spirit says it's coming, right? <laughs> There's a new beginning and it looks like a, it's a committed um, relationship. It looks really solid and that it could go somewhere far. <laughs> and we've got the Ten of Wands here and up first. Spirit says eventually you don't have to carry all of these burdens, being single, being alone, or feeling lonely. Nato Pentacles can be an indication of a lot of you just focusing on your work right now and Ace of Cups taking good care of yourself, making yourself happy because Ace of Cups, I see it as self-love, self-care. Um, and the Fool here is in love first. It feels like there's this, especially if you're single, I'm sensing, again, there's a new beginning here and I feel like some of you, you're not going to overthink it or maybe Spirit's trying to tell you not to overthink it. Perhaps you will have to take a risk. <laughs> Everything in life is a risk, right? Mm, perhaps being in hermit mode, isolating yourself, or overthinking, overanalyzing, may delay, may delay you meeting this person here whom is going to be... Um, offering you this commitment however if uh, for those of you if you're currently separate separated from your person i definitely see this person rushing in because the natal wants here feels like it's moving rushing in to offer you commitment to offer you love um perhaps a reconciliation or getting back together or just 
starting a relationship together and i feel like with eight of pentacles here this person is just going to um, work on this connection focus on this connection and this person may be feeling that you are their true love or that they fall in love with you or starting to have romantic feelings for you but these two cards are great but i definitely sense there's some sort of a delay here because we've got the ten of pentacles and lovers and the hermit is not a fast energy so someone is looking into it right wondering if there could be a future for the both of you but i definitely sense a willingness to work towards it okay let's see more especially if you are currently dealing with somebody right now Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Hmm. Someone could be avoiding love. I don't know whether it's you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with. But somebody is, is avoiding love because afraid to get hurt with the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. Afraid somebody is going to lie to them. Not being completely honest. I feel like this has more to do with fear. Unless for some of you, you, if you've been dealing with somebody who is very manipulative or they could, have, they could have lied or cheated, definitely sense this person trying to sneak their way back in. But then um, seeing you with the nine of wands here and the four of pentacles, afraid to let this person back into your life, afraid that ace of swords and love first, that they're going to continue to lie. Only for those of you, if you're dealing with somebody who has lied to you or cheated on you, okay? We've got the Eight of Cups here, Seven of Cups in reverse. It's funny because <laughs> this energy, Eight of Cups, somebody could be thinking, okay, I'm moving on. I've decided to move on, but actually I'm trying to return. Seven of Swords here. Or Seven of Swords also can be an indication of maybe this person is still interested, okay? Or that they could be playing mind games with you. They could be being uh, very manipulative, acting as if they have walked away and that they are done and that they've made up their mind. But actually it is not true because the Seven of Swords feels like it's coming back, right? It's moving towards the left here. But let's see more. I don't know what's wrong with my phone. It's gone crazy. <laughs> but did you see how it just started to zoom in? Uh, 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 and it's doing this thing. It's doing it on its own. Yeah, I'm not touching it. But now I am I'm trying to stop it. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> My phone is crazy. I need to change it. But the only problem is my other phone, whenever I upload, I don't know why it takes so long to upload. And But anyway, let me just give me a second. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. This person still wants you, still needs you feeling like they're codependent on you in some way shape or form um and also we've got the moon here in my first the queen of pentacles in my first i feel like a lot of you this is definitely you right earth signs a burgo taurus in capricorn i feel like maybe right now you may not be fully invested in this person or perhaps both of you could be separated right now but the moon here in my first is an indication of somebody here oh my god my phone one second, one second, please. Sorry about that. Just just ignore as long as you can hear me. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> this phone is crazy. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, the moon here in reverse indicates somebody here knowing exactly what they want now or that what they what they need i feel like your person real is realizing that they need you at first with eight of cups they could be feeling like they have other options and that they could you know walk away from you but then it does look like this person is trying to return to you again roles can be reversed here okay hmm Let's see a little bit more. I'm so sorry for my crazy phone. <laughs> I would change it. Um, so we've got the Three of Pentacles here, King of Pentacles, and Two of Wands and one first. Hmm. So there's somebody here whom is willing to now offer commitment, wanting to work 
through things, three of pentacles here, wanting to fix things and having decided to do so or will be deciding to do so in the future okay if some of them maybe they've already told you that but if they haven't yet if you're currently connected with someone i definitely see this person making a choice to return to you try and fix things with you and um trying to take the relationship to the next level or wanting to commit to you i feel like this person already has enough time to think through things right and i'm sensing for sure it's there are a lot of very positive cards here, right? I'm sensing that for sure this person is going to be offering you love, offering you commitment, willing to work on this connection. And this person is still passionate about you. Not a once. Again, this person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Could be somebody like you are Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Can be any sign, all right? I'm so sorry about my phone, guys. <laughs> and ladies um all right thank you so much for watching but let me oh boy can you please calm down <laughs> crazy but okay um i just posted a video on uh, just today just literally an hour ago and uh i'm in london so as you guys know i do have a travel vlog channel so this is my first video um first travel vlog channel first travel vlog video uh in london okay uh check it out if you want to i'm gonna leave it on the screen you can click on it it takes you straight to there to that video see this is definitely distracting me this crazy phone but anyway there's also a playlist you can just click on it scroll the way down look for your sign there could be some other important messages for you over there and uh as you guys know i post your videos almost every single day but at a different timing but you know what don't don't click on the the bell notification button all right because i don't want to disturb you guys i've been posting a lot lately so um what was I gonna say? Oh my god, this phone is definitely distracting me because I keep looking at looking at it going crazy right now. But anyway, take care, Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I'm so sorry again about my crazy phone. Take care, and I hope to see you back here. Bye.